Okay, video two. I had to hop back on here. <laughs> I've got to be the most disorganized, <laughs> silly consultant out there. But um, I just opened something that I wasn't able to open in my first video, The Art of Fragrance. It, it really blew me away. I, I was the most excited about this um, with the starter kit. Uh, but now I'm just like freaking out. This is this is cool. This is really neat. Um, it breaks down the notes of Luna. So um, the top notes, mid notes, and base notes. So uh, the Mandarin, Spearmint, and Marine uh, top notes. Mid notes are Jasmine, Raspberry, and Clove. And base notes are Vanilla, like a real gourmand vanilla. And then musk, I can't pronounce this. I've never heard of the embretolide, embretolide, and sandalwood. Uh, those are the base notes. And then, so these are the base or the top notes broken down individually. The the mid notes and the base notes. And then this is all of the the top notes mixed together, the mid and the bass mixed together. And it, it I, I never, to save my life, I wouldn't have been able to guess, you know, except for like the musky smell and the raspberry. I definitely smell raspberry in there, which is in the mid, but I never would have guessed these. Actually, see, this is why I wanted the mystique. I wanted to I wanted to keep that mystique of uh, of Luna since it's my one of my top two favorites. I was like, I don't want to know what that is, like what made up such a gorgeous scent. But oh my gosh, I'm so happy to know now. Like incredible, incredible. You have got to, if nothing else, just. I don't know if you can purchase this separately, if you have to be a consultant to get this art of fragrance, but I, you'll probably see other videos probably a lot better than mine and so cool. And I also opened the 25 um, little, you know, the testers. And holy moly, these were, um, so many of these were are in my cart, like, and I was sort of like, flip flopping back and forth. I don't know, I don't know, should I get this one, should I get that one? And it, this is helping me so much. These are all of the, these are all of the, are they, they're summer scents, obviously, but are they the BBMB ones? I don't know, <laughs> but like, Palm trees and ocean breeze, sipping poolside. Welcome home. That's one that I was curious about because that one seems more like folly. It's a it's an anytime just warm, super light, um, sort of spice, spicy one. Very good. Yes, I feel naughty like telling you about these, but. I think a lot of them have been around for quite a while. Wild Sherry and Sakura. Sakura? Beautiful. Man, I want to warm these. Watermelon and Tangerine. Pretty basic, but good. Good. Very good. Like, kind of ding ding. Vanilla Bean Buttercream. That's one of the first ones I ever ordered. Um... Moon Orchid. That's such an interesting one to me. Another cozy, warm, kind of enchanted, enchanting beautifulness, loveliness. Mystery Man, that's another one from my initial um, order from my little neighbor girl when she was when she was um, doing the fundraising. Evening sky is very nice. 
unique and, and nice. Sun Castles. That's one. I think I'd, I wasn't, I was thinking like, I'm not going to like that one because it's going to be like that sunscreen-y stuff. I wish people would stop using the sunscreen <laughs> as an example because even when they say, ah, oh, it's not so sunscreen-y, like it still puts that, zaps that into my mind and I think it, I like turn off from it. But the Sun Castles one, good. Um, I have to say out of all the 25 that were sent as samples, the only ones that I do not like is um, one from my, that same initial um, order, the clothes line. Uh, that is just straight up like uh, tied or gain or like just, you just get it off the shelf at the supermarket and you laundry. Ugh. I just, that's just not my thing. If it's your if you just want to, if you want everything, your house and everything to always smell like just clean laundry or something, fine, so be it. That's fine. All right. Very vanilla. It's a little, that's headache and like I instantly feel like a pain in the front of my like head. I would mix that with something to like cut straight through it. But, um, yeah. Red, oh, raspberry hibiscus tea. That's one that I am about to uh, purchase. I can't even tell from the, the tester, except that it smells good, and I think I made a choi good choice, and I'm, I'm gonna like it. Um, bamboo, oh, bonfire, bonfire beach. Everybody loves that one. Um, to me, as far as dupes, I know people always talk about dupes with things. Uh, Bath and Body Works, uh, Marshmallow Fireside. That's exactly what this reminds me of. Which, Marshmallow Fireside, uh, you better have that in an open concept. Like, uh, blow you away. It, it's a favorite, but man, I can take it only in small doses. This smells like maybe a little bit more of a calmed down version of that. So the Bonfire Beach, I can see why that's popular, definitely. Um, blueberry cheesecake, uh, blueberry, uh, like ninety percent of the time smells too artificial with uh, just anything, anything unless it's actual blueberries. I don't like blueberry. Cheesecake is my favorite dessert on planet Earth, so it's like. I wanted I really wanted to like this one and it's great on cold I just feel like when I warm it it's gonna be like that fakey blueberry smell is gonna come out who knows uh, the pink berry sandalwood um, I think that's gonna be amazing on warm I got just kind of a, a strange little smell of I don't know, plastic or something synthetic. I don't know, but okay. Uh, I just had to put some more ramble in there and I did not give mention to uh, my, the first ever warmer that I purchased. It's, I think it's called Birds of a Feather. I got that from Amy Sense and Songs and it is my favorite warmer. The other warmer that I, purchased was the wildlife mini one ah, I love that one too <laughs> and it's still out uh, probably for, for good reason it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen other than the birds of the feather I love them both um, the only thing about the birds of the feather one if anybody can tell me please if you have experience with the, the, the dishes this white one is just all stained to bits I cannot get it I don't know how to clean it properly. Like, it's hard to get down in there. I almost feel like I need to have like a magic eraser or something. That's terrible. I don't know, but uh, yeah, if you have any suggestions as to how to clean out the, the lighter colored ones or just any of the, the warmers, that'd be great. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting more and more excited as you can probably tell <laughs> about, um, about the, my new kit and being a consultant even if like uh, I only sell like n nothing 
or 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 a few you know i make a few so sales or if i'm the only one purchasing from myself it's fine but um i didn't mention on my last video i have um my sensi uh website is my oh no sorry it's dorky just my two cents at sensi.com it's Jess, like J E S S, because my name is Jessica. So Jess, my M Y T W O S C E N T S. Just my two cents. I know, <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> so, anyway, if you have any comments, uh, or if you wanna, if you wanna bash anything that I've done, I don't blame you. Um, if you wanna welcome me, that's cool too. Um, I love you to my uh, my sponsor, um, Carney R. I don't know if I'm if I should be saying her name on here, but she's she's super sweet and cool. And thank you. Um, so have a wonderful day or evening, and. Bye -bye.